The Niagara Parkway Recreational Trail is a beautiful and historic path that stretches for about 56 kilometers, 35 miles, along the Canadian side of the Niagara River. It runs from Fort George in Niagara-on-the-Lake to Fort Erie, passing by the majestic Horseshoe Falls and numerous historic sites, wineries, restaurants, and shops. The trail is divided into four sections, Niagara-on-the-Lake to Queenston, Queenston to the Whirlpool Aero Car, Chippewa to Black Creek, Black Creek to Fort Erie. It's perfect for cycling, jogging, or leisure walking, offering stunning views and a chance to explore the rich history and natural beauty of the Niagara region. Have you visited the trail before, or are you planning a trip? Maybe this video helps. Thank you for watching, and remember to click and subscribe. Okay, I got my rental Rad Rover bike, and here we are at the Q Spa. So we're trying to find a place to eat tonight, but here we are riding our bikes in, where are we, a Niagara on the lake. It's been raining all day, but it stopped raining. And in a moment, I'll show you where I am geographically, besides next to the golf course. Okay, over on that side of the water is actually the United States. That's Fort Niagara. And there was a video in my channel where we went there. It was quite cold, but we had a place to ourselves. Got some good musket demonstrations. The white building is actually uh, an active uh, Coast Guard station. And then behind it is a fort from the 1700s. Didn't see a whole lot of battles because Canada's right here. We have a fort here and they could reach each other with cannons, so not a whole lot of need to do anything. But that is the Niagara River separating us. And so it's quite a spectacular location. There's Lake Ontario up that way. And on a clear day, which is not what I wanted to describe today, one could see Toronto across the way there. Um, so again, that's, we're actually south of the United States at this point. So very fascinating here in Niagara on the lake. So it's quite picturesque along here. Everybody has a... Well, this is the old bank house Niagara on the lake. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's, a, it's an inn. If you know what kind of flowers are those, those are comment in the uh, comment section. Here's another small public home house in the terminal up here. And go down, look at the marina. Okay. Oh, the house in Ooh, Hill. <laughs> okay, there's the fort again. And in the distance, I'll post a photograph with my camera where I can zoom in. I see some, I see Toronto and some swans. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, they're little baby ones. Right here, right here. Right here. These are little baby ones. Okay, there's the front sign. We'll go to or through the parking lot here. You know, it's it's got to be hoity-toity if you have the lions out front. So, here, kitty, kitty. Go. All right, we made it inside. Seems to be some party going on down there. Quite nice.
All right, so in that direction is Niagara Falls. And if I don't look where I'm going, then it'll be Niagara Falls will be right along this trail. All right, some more riding along the Niagara Trail. Don't know where this is going, but we'll do it anyway. All right, there's the McFarland House. This Georgian style house was built in 1800 by John McFarland and his sons on land granted by the Crown. It is one of the oldest surviving structures in Niagara District. During the War of 1812, it was used as a British hospital by both British and American forces and a British battery located behind the house protected the river. In 1813, John McFarlane was taken prisoner by the Americans following their capture of Fort George. When he returned in 1815, much of this property had been destroyed and the house badly damaged. The home was repaired and remained in the McFarland family for several generations. We shall look inside. 1807? Oh, no, oh. House tour starts here. I'm sorry, anybody for a King Charles wine stopper. Wow, Chardonnay jelly. That's amazing. Cabernet Merlot jelly. Anything else is goofy looking? No Dutch apple pie and no it's just Now we have wine grapes on both sides of the road. Let me put the camera up a little higher so you can see. And that's uh, enough grapes to keep a couple, a couple people I know busy for a while. <laughs> 